systems. Will the world's most powerful transporter units be able to move this 1,200-ton monster? That's a lot of folks. Battery, Alabama. This is a jack-up rig, a boat with retractable legs that can stand up out of the water. This offshore construction platform is 235 feet high, 110 feet wide, and weighs in at 1,200 tons. Now that they've finished building the rig, Joe Rodriguez needs it out of his yard. Every day that we're working on this boat, instead of it out there working and doing work, that's 30-something thousand a day, so timing's very critical. But getting this monster out into the water is a massive engineering challenge. Conventional launch would be on a set of rails that we would have put in, but because of the width and the length and the weight of this boat, it would cost probably about half what this boat costs to put in a launch system. There's only one machine for the job. Wheels, the Goldhofer Mega PSTs, the most powerful self-propelled modular trailers in the world. Axle load, 1,600 tons. Power, 2,000 horsepower. Turning circle, plus or minus 135 degrees. One unit has four wheels attached to two smart axles. And when you hook up 32 individual units, wheels can deliver enough horsepower to move a payload of 1,700 tons. There are only three companies in the world with access to this technology. Crew, Braden Burrard, the only American with his own set of wheels. His father, Johnny Burrard, cousin, Brett Burrard, and Tony Broussard. Hubert Landry operates wheels. Moving the unmovable has been a Burrard business for over 60 years. And we uh, pride ourselves in, in doing the, the right work and just doing uh, the job the right way. It all started back in 1945 with Grandpa Roy, a flatbed truck, and one small house. Somebody went up to him and asked, do you know anybody that can move a house? And he said, I'll pay you $50. He's like, wow, $50, I'll go ahead and do it. Every year, the loads get bigger. They come a long way from moving houses. Yeah, everything's getting bigger and heavier. But Braden is worried about moving the 1,200-ton rig onto a thin barge. The one thing that could happen is if we're rolling on this barge and we're off center, we could have a big-time failure with the barge wanting to over-tip on us. If the barge tips, it will be a multi-million dollar disaster. Braden needs all 32 of his units to pull off the job. Unfortunately, they're currently spread all over the place on other jobs. What I'm up against is I have 20 lines and two packs right here in Port Arthur, Texas. Six lines in the town of Patterson and six lines in the town of Amelia. It's a logistical nightmare. He needs every line of wheels trucked to the Alabama boatyard by noon tomorrow. 4.15 a.m. Burrard Headquarters, Louisiana. All right, guys, good morning. Everybody's truck's ready, fueled up, ready to go. Keep a good pace, no speeding. Be safe. He already has six-wheel units ready. Yes, we got to get the 24 lines and two packs ASAP. What do you 
mean behind? I thought everything was supposed to be lined up. Is there going to be a problem? Because I'll need to know something pretty soon. 5 a.m., six 45-ton trucks head for Alabama. Back in the office, Braden is struggling to get enough units to move the rig. If he comes up short, they'll have to cancel the lift. a.m. Braden Burrard has driven through the night and finally caught up with the convoy carrying his wheels mega PST transporters. A fleet of trucks are converging with 32 total units. This is very stressful and you have to be ready for anything that can possibly happen at all times. At Bio Laboratory Boatyard, lines of wheels are now pulling up from every direction. Right, everything looking good. They immediately begin to assemble the wheels in two long lines that will carry the rig. We'll put this one down, pull the truck out, and then start rigging up on this one. Hubert Landry is in charge of getting the wheels into a line. Machines are just so awesome. It looks so easy to use if you make it look like it's playing a PlayStation game. Hubert quickly combines the different sets of wheels. The interlocking plates on the axles are bolted together. This locks the units in place, enabling the long line of wheels to act as one big vehicle. Each unit is equipped with a 490 horsepower pack, which drives the hydraulic lifting system and steering motors. The scale of the challenge is daunting. Two sets of wheels, 16 axles long, must be lined up perfectly beneath the rig. For Braden Burrard, it's all a matter of balance. It's like you were on a seesaw and you had two men at the same equal distance apart. They weighed exactly the same. I mean, you're just sitting exactly and you won't even move. And if one guy was a little heavier, then bam, then that's what would happen if this would shift. But if Braden doesn't get this balancing act exactly right, his wheels could end up joining the $30 million rig in the water. The key to perfectly balancing the rig is to locate its center of gravity, or CG. Should we double check where my CG mark is, where you think it is too? Just to see if we're on the same page? Having double checked everything, he marks the CG. That means center of gravity. So the weight of 1,388 tons will be centered right here. Now, the two sets of wheels need to be positioned under the rig and lined up with the CG mark. The first line is quickly maneuvered into position. Back up a little bit. This way. Call it 15-3. Braden spots plywood sheets that are in the wrong position. Even the smallest mistake on this job could lead to disaster. I make all these drawings for y'all. Y'all make me look like a hammer roll. What you want to know? Tone it up a little bit? Why are you freak out like that? You're getting nervous. <laughs> With the problem fixed, both sets of wheels are lined up.
The jack-up legs holding the huge rig lift. The wheels are now supporting the entire 1,200-ton load. On top of each line of wheels, a platform deck sits four feet off the ground. Hydraulics can raise or lower the deck by a foot. Each individual unit has its own pressure gauge that wirelessly relays information to the control panel. Hubert can instantly tell if the load is evenly spread across the entire line. Today, the rig is perfectly balanced. You're doing it right now? You're doing it right now, I'm telling you. But now, there's a bigger problem. Here comes the rain. The rain's coming in about 45 minutes. It hasn't rained here in about three days. Rain is bad. Lightning is worse. Braden decides to push on. Slowly and surely, wheels eases forward. A sudden loud crack and jolt erupts from one of the massive steel cables running under the rig. The cables secure the barge to the dockside. Braden immediately recognizes the danger and stops the operation. Johnny, your cables have to come off. The team moves in to lower the cables. Finally, Braden gives the order to resume, and the rig begins to move again. inching its way towards the barge on the world's strongest, most powerful self-propelled transporters. That's it right here, man. Wheels hydraulic platforms rise and fall continuously, keeping the rig stable as it rolls across the uneven surface of the dockyard. They're ready for the most dangerous part of the whole maneuver, getting the rig up the ramp which leads onto the barge. When Braden waves everyone off again, the weather is making it too dangerous. Uh, the rain is here, yeah, fortunately. I don't want to carry on a, uh, if it gets dark, then we're gonna run into big problems. Braden is under huge financial pressure to get the job done quickly. But the lives of his men come first. All right, that's it, guys. We're shutting it down for the day. Braden can only hope the storm passes overnight. If not, a lot of well-paid men and expensive equipment will be sitting around until the weather improves. a.m. The weather cleared overnight. We got the engines cranked. Uh, the tide looks great this morning. We checked. The pressures are still good. Everything good to go. Today is the day. Berard is confident, but he knows this is also the most dangerous part of the job. As wheels and its massive load roll off the dockside, the weight shifts directly onto the floating barge. The 1,200-ton rig could easily make the barge tip over. 
To keep the barge balanced as the weight of the rig begins to press down on it, they'll pump water out of the barge's ballast tanks. The total amount of weight the barge is supporting should remain fairly stable if things go as planned. The 1,200-ton rig rolls up the ramps. Now on one and two, just a little bit. They rapidly pump water out of the ballast tanks directly beneath the wheels. The water is draining too quickly. The end of the barge beneath the ramp is beginning to lift up out of the water. To avert disaster, they immediately shut off the pumps. Shut off all the pumps. With the barge no longer rising, they reverse the pumps, stabilize everything, and try again. Wheels slowly rolls forward. After 20 minutes, the bulk of the rig is on the barge. Berard wants the legs on the rig drop down immediately. Finally, they're down, and the load is stable. The 1,200-ton rig can jack itself up and take the strain off Berard's wheels. It's a massive job, executed perfectly by the world's most powerful set of wheels. That's the best way to put 1,200 tons in the water. <laughs> Looks like everything's looking good. <laughs>